Now, I mentioned symbols in the last video, and I want you guys to wrap your head around this because symbols are great. It's a place to stash items you want to use again and again and again and again. So under window, symbols, and yeah, I've got a lot more items in my list than you because of the astute graphic plugins. Um, these are the default symbols that ship, and here are the symbol libraries. Some of you have found these things, but I want to save this as a symbol. So I'm just going to drag it over here and drop it. And I can give it a name, you know, something clever like isocube. And um, the dynamic symbol, all this is just fine. And we'll just say OK. So now I can delete that item off the desktop. And anytime I want, I can just drag out a copy. Isn't that cool? Now, these symbols are only saved in this particular Illustrator document. We can, I hadn't even looked, I think it's right here, um, save our symbol library right here. Um, but before we save the library, we'd get rid of all these default things, and then we'd save a custom library, which I'll do later on. And then we can access our custom saved library right here under user defined. And you can see I already have a couple from uh, time gone by. But for patterns, I want to make a series of symbols that I can reuse and modify again and again to save myself time because I want to use isometric cubes, but I don't want to have to make one again, even though it wasn't all that hard, and um, experiment with patterns based on this shape with all kinds of variations on a theme. All right, so there you go. Use symbols as you experiment and you don't have to make a new document for every single symbol and pattern you make. You can work on one continuously and gather your own library here, which is what I intend to do over the next few weeks.